He was constantly the one who said, this is what we have to be. We have to grow as a country. We have to cross the continent. And that's where the success of Canada lies. It was a lifelong dream, complete separation of the Canadian colonies from England. His name was Sir Alexander Galt, one of the fathers of Confederation who helped shape Lethbridge into what it is today. Now Galt and his son Elliot are being remembered in the form of a monument that will be built outside of the Galt Museum. They brought in a lot of businesses uh, from agriculture, irrigation, to railroads, to coal mining, all very important. And we'd like to help our community understand who they were. Galt was born in London, England in 1817 and immigrated to Sherbrooke, now known as Quebec, in 1835. According to the Canadian Archives, Galt was involved in the issue of economic development and believed religious diversity was part of what made the Canadian identity. When Lethbridge was set up, the Galts donated um, land for all four of the original churches. And that was, in those days, it was Methodist, Presbyterian, Anglican and Roman Catholic. It is also because of Galt that we use Canadian dollars and cents rather than the British pound. But Croson says it's his son Elliot who is credited with the title Father of Lethbridge. From Galt Gardens to the creation of St. Patrick's Church originally, um, to the development of the mines, to the, you know, there's so many links, irrigation, coal mining, railway, it all links back to the Galts. And I don't think people really give them the credit or realize what an incredible legacy they left for us. City Council approved the location of the monument on Monday. It will be located here, just out front of the museum. Burroughs Johnson says the statue will be interactive and encourages people to sit, have a chat, or even take their picture with Galt and his son. Caitlin Wilson, Global News.